Hello friends, welcome to part 3 of this 67 Gravely restoration. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I, I primed this tank and uh, fan shroud assembly. Um, I got the fan off and I just uh, painted the inside here. I sanded it down a little more and I just painted it black in here. You really can't see that part anyway. I'm beginning to think this uh, Krylon primer I'm using is giving me the bad paint job. I mean, it's not smooth. Uh, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, paint it the orange that I'm painting it. You know, the, the uh, Rust-Oleum. Did I say Krylon before? It's Rust-Oleum primer. So I'm going to just uh, start painting it with this orange here. I'm flustered with this thing here but let me see what happens after I get done painting painting it orange and then I'll get back to you okay so it's not the primer I thought the primer was the problem when we did the hood but I just uh, gave this a few coats uh, and I'll let it dry and give it a couple more coats I guess it's not half bad it's coming out a lot better than I thought it would um, alright. Okay, so I'll get back to you. So I painted the top uh, air deflector. That came out pretty good. And I also painted the starter mount bracket here. I can't, I can't see this camera, especially showing you black stuff here. And I also painted one side of the fan here. And um, I'll get back to you if anything exciting goes on. Okay, let me just show you around a little bit. I um, stripped down the handlebars. I was able to do it on a wire wheel, you know, on a bench grinder, on the wire, 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 wire wheel part. So I got that done so far. And this is the gas tank and the shroud. Came out pretty good, not too bad. And then I cleaned up some parts this morning. Um, I painted the um, starter bracket, uh, the fan, inside and out, and the air cleaner, this is the inner part of the air cleaner, I just painted that black, and cleaned up the starter clutch real good and painted that. Um, this is the uh, bracket for the uh, high-low range, which I'm having a problem getting the... Um, Adjuster nuts loose to pull the rod out right now. I did the air cleaner um, Air deflectors Cleaned them real good sanded them down primed them painted them since something landed on here already whatever And I also cleaned up the uh, shift handles and rods real good. I primed them and painted them real good um, what else here? Okay, so I'm having a problem getting this bolt out over here that holds the uh, battery tray in. I'm usually able to weasel that bolt out, but for some reason I can't. So I'm gonna have to take. I'm gonna be taking the plow mount off, and then I'm gonna have to take uh, this nut and bolt. I was hoping like some of these are threaded, and then you could just unscrew the bolt. But this is not. This has a nut and a bolt holding it on. So I have to get the spacer out in here in order to get that bolt out so I can refinish the battery tray, prime it and paint it. So we're going to get on with it. I'm going to just show you a little bit about the, uh, I'll, do, I'll do a little bit of uh, repair right now. Not repair, but disassembly. I'll do it on camera. And then um, I'm probably just going to stick the plow on the front. It's easier to do and jack it up. And then I have to pull the uh, spacers. And the inner tires off. I'll be doing that. And then we're gonna have to prep this uh, transmission here for paint. And I think I'm gonna end up buying the uh, silver high heat paint and see how that works out. The worst that could happen is it'll leak. So I'll degrease everything. And let me get set up and we'll get going on that. Ah. 
So once I get that bolt out, I'll just, uh, just snug this all back up again. And I'll put the uh, plow mount back on because I'm going to paint the plow mount. Well, I'm going to clean the plow, plow mount while I have it off. And I'm going to paint the whole thing black, the transmission, and break up the monotony a little bit with the orange. I shut the compressor off so it won't kick uh, on. Of course I didn't bring the hammer. Ouch! That hurt. I gotta get out of the habit of using this uh, gasket maker, this RTV. If you saw, if you follow RW3 Dog, on his last video, he was trying to uh, separate the engine from his transmission because he's doing some transmission work on the uh, tractor. And man, did he have a heck of a time. Because he, whoever uh, worked on it before him used the gasket maker on there and it was stuck. I think he had to let it sit for about a day or so. Then he finally was able to uh, break it loose by wiggling it. So, I would really like to get out of the habit of using that. This tractor only snow plows. That's all it does. Uh, the reason, you know, I have to take this apart is because of that stupid... Uh, bushing over here is keeping the bolt from coming out to get this uh, battery tray out. And make sure there's no lock washer in there or a washer. No. Yeah, listen. Last thing you want is a washer or something to fall in here. So had to do this just to do this here. Stupid thing. How do you do all that just to get this off? I have to go get the other bolts. I'm just going to stick these bolts back in here for now. Just so I can clean everything up and paint. I think I know the bolt to be in this container really close by.
I'm just going to uh, use my little uh, wire brush and my degreaser and get as much of the crud off as I can. I'm not going too crazy with this. Uh, I'm not going to prime it or anything. I'm just going to clean it up real good and just shoot it black. I wonder if I should just leave this lever off. Maybe I will. I'll just leave the lever off. And I'll go ahead and clean up the plow mount real good. And mount it back on. For now. Oh, I'm talking like this. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But, alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bolt the handles, the handlebars back on. And what I do is, I'll just stick the uh, handlebars straight up in the air, tighten up the bolts, and this way I can finish with the uh, sanding disc. I just want to clean up the handlebars a little more, and then I'm going to prime them and paint them. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon, and hope hopefully by uh, tomorrow morning they'll be dry. I won't have to cover, uh, I'm not going to cover the tractor again. But knowing the weather people the way they are, it, it, this thing will probably get caught in the rain. But I want to just put the uh, plow mount back on in case it does rain so I'll get any water in there. We're having enough trouble with this as it is. Okay, so I'll get back to you in a few minutes. So I painted the handlebars on the tractor like I told you I was going to do. And they dried pretty good enough last night, so I, I unbolted them and put them inside the uh, shed here. And I covered the tractor back up, because I didn't know if it was going to rain again. Um, also, uh, these are all the parts that I have done so far. Every time you turn around, there's more bits to do. Um, I, I got the um, high-low range uh, lever I got that off I used the air gun and got it off so I prepped it I just got to tape up this handle and paint that and also I uh, prepped the uh, tow bar uh, yeah I cleaned it real good sanded it down and primed it and painted it and then we have the PTO lever here I took care of that and then we have this other little lever that goes on the uh, high low range uh, handlebar and already leaves are falling and a, a leaf already fell on this and I'm starting not to give a shit at all about this project anymore I just want to get it done and throw it together and be done with this already um, these are the handlebar brackets I uh, stripped them down painted them I almost forgot to put this lock bolt back in the uh, starter clutch so I put that I cleaned it real good put it back in and painted that and then I have this little lever here for the PTO lever. I, I uh, prepped and painted that. And then we have the PTO lever itself. I tried to break up the colors as much as po possible. So being that the shifter levers are, are orange, I decided to paint the uh, PTO lever orange also as well. And I think I showed you the... Uh, here I am walking around the camera again. I think I showed you these yesterday. I had them in the base. These are the uh, forward, reverse, high and low uh, levers and rods. They're all uh, set right now. So what we're going to do right now is, um, I like I showed you, I left the uh, PTO lever off, but I did put the nut, uh, nut and bolt and the spacer back in, tightened them up, because I'm going to have to water this down some. And I just stuck the plow on here because we're going to pull the wheels off now. And I covered the carburetor throat and the oil pressure gauge here. I covered that real good. And now I'm going to have to, have to while I'm cleaning, I'm going to have to take the uh, oil filter off. That oil filter hasn't been on there that long. So I got to try to stay away from, well, once I get the filter off, I'm going to have to try to stay away from, uh, getting water in there and stuff so I have my work cut out for me with this this is just a big ball of grease here and I think I decided I'm going to paint the uh, jug uh, I think I'm going to paint it to silver 
I have to go buy more paint tomorrow. They're calling for rain tonight into tomorrow morning. And I think it's about six days straight of this, like four or five hours a day so far. And whether it rains or not, I think I'm going to take tomorrow and just go get some more uh, supplies that we need to finish this up. Now this muffler on here is only about two years old. Um, don't forget, this tractor goes out in bad conditions with road salt because I have an open trailer, so it gets covered, you know. So I don't know, I'm thinking about changing the muffler out, but then it's going to end up looking the same way if I go out plowing this winter. At the end of uh, the winter, it's going to look just like this again. But maybe that high temperature uh, paint that I want to paint the uh, engine, the top top end with, maybe that'll stick on there. I doubt it. They come painted already, the mufflers, but I don't know what kind of paint they use, but that paint seems to burn off pretty quick. So, all right, so what I'm going to do right now is we're going to uh, uh, finish uh, disassembling. I'm going to pull the spacers and, and wheels off. So I'll get set up for that. Okay, so what you want to do is, like, even on your car, before you jack it up, you want to loosen your lug nuts or bolts or whatever kind of system you have. And there's a wood chipper in the background. As usual, there's always some kind of background noise, so I apologize for that. Um, what I'm going to do with these spacers is, I'm just going to use my degreaser and just brush them down real good. I'm not gonna go too crazy with them, and I think I'll just paint the spacers orange. So, okay, I did the other side already. So now I'll just jack it up, and I'll pull the uh, spacers and tire wheels off. And what I'm gonna do is I'll put a couple jack stands underneath while I have it jacked up, and then I'll be able to pull this plow back off, and I'll be able to tilt it back and forth whichever way. I need to tilt the machine to clean the rest of it up. So, sorry, there's nothing too exciting going on, but I figured I would just explain to you, even with your car tire, like I said, loosen the lug nuts first and then jack it up. So. These are always fun to put back on. You, you, you gravely guys know what I'm talking about. But sometimes they're not too bad, you know. You just gotta get them just right. Cause you gotta put the inner wheel in and then you gotta have the spacer on there as well. So I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna paint the transmission black and I'm gonna clean the hubs up real good and I think I'll just shoot them orange. It's too bad I don't have the caps for these. They're missing. I'll look around. Maybe I do have a couple. They're only plastic caps that go on here. Um, Alright, so that's gonna be it for now and I'll get back to you soon. This worked out pretty good putting the jack stands under here because um, I was able to uh, take this out just holding up the back and tilt it back to clean the front real good and also vice versa I was able to tip the machine all the way forward so I could clean underneath over here and I got all the grease I degreased the whole thing hey, it was a lot of work I think it was about an hour hour and 15 minutes or so it was caked on there pretty good. So I'm more and more, uh, more or less, I'm, I don't know, thinking of getting the silver paint, the high temperature, and, and do the engine block here, the jug. And um, like I said, we're gonna be painting this uh, transmission black, because I'm tired of all orange all the time. So, um, all right, so I'll get back to you as soon as I um, 
I guess as soon as I start painting, I'm going to paint the transmission and the uh, engine jug, cylinder jug first. I'm getting a little tired right now. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to end this one here and stay tuned for part four. And I want to thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you all, all of you on the next one.